the Ascendant Spire. Our hopes manifest in this place. Ancient beliefs and modern ideals coalesce. We have prepared the Index. We have prepared the Ark. And now we ascend to complete its spire to await the Catalyst. The others have gone, but we remain. The Agrariate will be revealed among us. Collect the Index and render itself upon the Ark. Our Historia will not languish in the dust of this world. It will live among the stars. Anonymous, Cycle 1999. Exclamation, everybody, and welcome to Time Frame. So this is a little bit different game than I, what I would normally play. This is a walking simulator. It's very, very similar to games such as uh, Dear Esther and uh, things of that nature. Uh, also, I think Al Home Alone or whatever it was. Uh, Gone Home, Gone Home. Um, very, very similar to those games where there's um, not so much uh, a lot of action and game-oriented mechanics. They're more of... Uh, an experience, something that you just kind of sit down and, and just enjoy and just have a little have a little look see a peek see yet and uh, try to figure out what's going on and uh, why you're here and what's happening. It's not typically the type of game that I would normally play. Uh, however, every so often I do try to stretch my uh, my brain a little bit to experience things I wouldn't normally. Uh, do uh, just because I feel like every once in a while it's nice to get a little different perspective on things. I've never played Gone Home and I didn't play Dear Esther or any of those things. Um, so I thought, you know, this one seemed like a, a good, I guess, introduction for me to the, to the genre just as a, as just as a little aside, a little, um, I don't know, uh, just a, just a one-off kind of experience. And uh, what drew me to it is that it does have sort of a sci-fi-ish theme to it, uh, whereby, and this, and this, you can all get all of this from the uh, description. Um, you are exploring the ruins of this ancient civilization and uh, trying to find out what happened to them, but at the same time, you do it in ten-minute increments. In other words you're stuck in this time loop um, where you experience the game, some cataclysm happens, and then you're sent back to the beginning and you experience it some more. And the game along the way saves your progress uh, and allows you to then go and revisit all the things that you, uh, all the information that you had gathered. And it's just, you know, it's essentially a very casual a uh, little game to just kind of let you sit down from time to time and, you know, take take a break from uh, bashing orc heads in and all those things and just kind of, you know, have a little, have a little experience, a little, a little, uh, I don't know, just a little walk in the park, if you will. And uh, you know, in my case, just kind of look at all the architecture here and see what's going on. Like we got these these statues that are all broken and, you know, why are these statues here? What did they mean? So on and so forth. It's holding some sort of uh, document in its hand. And it looks like we got a place over here. Um, so I've played, uh, this is actually, you can see up in the sky there, a little something that's starting to appear. So the idea here is, is time is almost frozen and I say almost because that thing up in the sky you're seeing is going to be getting uh, much bigger and it's traveling so fast that even when time is this slow it's uh, it's expanding pretty quickly and uh, you know you can see like the grass doesn't move and all that stuff and uh, there is another place unfortunately on the other side uh, that has water in it so you can see like the water barely is moving just barely those uh, fires out there, those giant torches, the fire is almost not even moving in them. The licks of, licks of flame aren't even really moving in it, uh, at least not compared to that. Um, and uh, it's, if you, if you know a little bit of, of science fiction and, and stuff, uh, you know, if you've seen Star Trek or even the old classic Doctor Who stuff, you know what a time loop is. Uh, let's see, let's read this thing. 
Uh, Cataclystians. There are those among us that would attribute all prosperity to the grace of the Nomad. We are undeserving of such graces. The only grace imparted by a Nomad is our postponed annihilation. These visitations are a warning, a pronouncement of what is yet to come. We must be at peace with the possibility of cataclysm prior to the arrival of the Agrariate. All that has been found may be lost, and all. And who are we to weep? When all is dust, who will remain to shed a tear? From the Cataclysian uh, Ideologies by the founder of Cataclystia, Lissa Loth Lyson, written in Cycle Prioria 451. So, this um, cataclysm that's coming, it is something that has been visiting the planet quite often yeah, throughout the planet's history. Enough so that it has become part of their lore, part of their religion. And you can see here, I've I, that's now on my map if I hold down spacebar. Can't run any faster than this. Uh, this is just a walking simulator through and through. Uh, can't jump or any of those things. It's just just a gentle walk around the block here. Uh, as you can see, that is getting much, much closer. So it is, in fact, uh, as we'll, uh, I'll spoil it a little bit, but it is, in fact, an asteroid that is going to strike this planet. And it's uh, it's actually going to strike over there where that's where the main tower is. And the idea here is I'm trying to figure out, like, what impact this has had. It's apparently had quite a, quite a, an impact on the society here. As I was mentioning a little bit earlier, if you're familiar with time loops, like, I think the fourth Doctor, uh, Tom Baker, I believe, uh, encountered a causality time loop where he was it was constantly getting shorter and shorter each loop through. Uh, Star Trek fans will know of the causality time loop that... Uh, <laughs> Fraser Crane brought upon them uh, by crashing his ship accidentally into the Enterprise in a region of space and causing them to all have deja vu each time through the loop and finally able to free themselves by picking the, the right choice. Uh, evacuate the shuttle, shuttle bay. <laughs> have the explosive reaction kick us out of the way. Ah, uh, yes, the old Riker maneuver slash two. He has, he has his other maneuver that he uses too. Um, but yeah, it's very, uh, you know, the game is, is for the art style that it has here is actually quite beautiful. I'd say, I mean, it's not, you know, it's not going to blow you away per se, but it is, uh, like the sky all has like a texture to it. Uh, the, the sun there obviously has a bit of a texture to it, all the, the ground and so on and so forth. So there's a lot of, uh, a lot of things here to behold and be had. Uh, while you're walking around. And I don't think I'm going to make it to those doors over there. To the gates. Before this uh, before this asteroid crashes in. But at least we'll get a good. We'll get a good view of the of the end of the world here. We'll have front row tickets. As you can see even like the. Like flowers. Uh, flower petals are just kind of hanging in the air. They're still. They are slightly. Ever so slightly moving. But not quite as fast as that. And then the uh, the big clue here is that the. The game will start to play this the song, which is actually starting right now, uh, to let you know that you're towards the end. Uh, Victory Gates. Both barricade and monument, the Grand Wall and Victory Gates will stand for Generata to come as stalwart, unmoving defenders, reminding all of what was lost and what will now be saved. After 17 cycles of unyielding construction, the wall's designer, Khalith Don Kalin, places the final capstone in its setting, marking a new age of protection and prosperity. The memory of this day will surely be treasured by the Agrariate. With the grave of the nomad. I want to stop reading that because those that song that is playing right now tells me that we are getting close. So let's get a nice little view of the end here. I'm gonna just park myself here because I'm not gonna be able to get much further than this. You can see I'm standing still now. See how fast this is moving compared to everything else that has been slowed down. And there you go, there's your asteroid and a few other asteroids behind it. And in a few seconds here, we will uh, we will experience the time loop. And there we go. We're back to the beginning here. Uh, one of the things I should note here is you can see around here. This is actually telling you what three things are on each side here. So if I go out this door and I go to the left here, I should meet these three things on the map. And same here, if I go out this door and go to hang a right, those three, and so on and so forth. 
There's also one in the center here. Oh, this is for the, the, the gateway there that I already saw. All right, and then these. So it's just a nice little, like a, a map room almost kind of thing. And now, uh, as you can see, I've got three of them under my belt, but uh, we've got what are these over here. These are not ones I've seen before, okay. So we'll go this way. I'm trying not to stay in one place. Normally, if you were playing this uh, on your own, you would probably spend a lot of time just kind of looking at all the architecture and just kind of experiencing the game. I happen to know that I have 10 minutes each loop, and I want to make sure that I move as quickly as I can so you can see as much of the game as possible. Uh, at least from this, and then if you want to see more of it, uh, you'll have to you'll have to go and uh, pick it up on Steam. This is not an early access game or anything like that. This is fully released. I see uh, something over here. It's a fully released game, so uh, you're getting the the full exper experience here. Uh, it also has it also has a soundtrack that comes with it. If you want to, you have to pay a little bit extra for a soundtrack. I think it's like two dollars extra get you the game plus the soundtrack or you can just get the game only if you don't really care so much for the soundtrack I haven't I mean what you've heard so far is pretty much all I've heard so I don't know if there's much to the soundtrack um, although I did buy the one with the soundtrack because I just I figured why not uh, if it's a game like this I figured it had to have a pretty decent one and and it is for the most part I I'm, I'm enjoying it it's nice it's uh it's very uh, calming almost uh, as you're as you're walking through what is what used to be some civilization that has has me has met its match and uh, from some of the other things that I have gathered up here uh, along the way which I haven't seen too much of here uh, this visitor they've been calling it the visitor which is that asteroid and it has visited them throughout their throughout their uh, you know existence on this planet at least four other times from what I've read on one of the tablets and uh, oh is this one yeah this is one the age of affirmation the fears of our past have been supplanted by a new hope for the future signs of the legendary nomad have been absent from our skies for many generata but we use its symbol to remind us of our imp impermanence we have seen war and disease and famine and yet we remain the knowledge of the agrariate still resides within us. We are now the observers, the reflectionists, the speculators, the archivists, the concluders, the aff affirmationists. We uncover truth and uphold it for all to see. And that is cycle 1000 that that was written, uh, commemoration of that. So yeah, this, uh, this visitor, this nomad, it's called many different things, visitor, nomad, so on and so forth. That asteroid has affected the planet uh, in such a way that uh, you know they've they've had to deal with small uh, meteor impacts here and there. I should be really calling it a meteor because it does enter the atmosphere. Uh, small meteor impacts here and there uh, that have caused problems, but for the most part, it has had a basically a religion form up around it uh, due to the fact that everyone, pretty much on this planet, is in agreement that they're that they're boned. <laughs> This, this thing is going to kill them eventually. They, they've calculated it. They've determined that eventually its orbit's going to bring it back. It's probably some sort of comet. And its orbit's eventually going to bring it back to here and crash down on the surface. And I read something, some other tablet that said that uh, they were basically trying to find a way off the planet. And I don't know if they did find their way off the planet or not. Or if they're just all dead for whatever reason. As you can see, it's coming back already. Um... Or, or, you know, if they died from some war or famine or something else caused by, you know, this upheaval that's about to happen. What do we have here? Waning hopes. For 17 cycles we have struggled, searching for a way to prevent or forestall the impending visitation of the observed spacefarer. Affirmations and rev revitalists united have found no refuge. I fear that our inability to omit defeat and leave this valley may bring about our destruction. But the hope of the agrarian lingers within the people. Old ways die hard. This may not be a destruction we can outrun, even with ten more cycles between us. While the rev revitalists toil with their spire, I place my remaining confidence in the young apprentice. Conserva los loth comsera. If anyone can uncover the mysteries of stream bending, it may be her. 
stream bending, huh? Cycle 1989. So that, that was 10 cycles. 1989 was 10 cycles away from their destruction. We saw, uh, I don't know if I have it on camera or before, one, something from 1999, cycle 1999. So that was also a, that was much closer to when the visitation was going to be. So it seems like that spire there was whatever it is that's managed to either get these people off the planet or they died trying to get off the planet. Um, or as, as it said there, they just merely left the valley here. But uh, that wouldn't help so much if this is going to be a planet upheaval as it seems to be. I like this coming up here. This is like a sort of Middle Eastern art uh, architecture thing. Uh, I would... I would I'm venturing the guess of. <laughs> it seems like that anyway. Uh, I could be completely wrong in that. Uh, I'm not not really an architecture major, honestly. But I like the... Uh, they have like the cloths like blowing in the wind. Only they're not even like... They're just... you can If you, if you stand still, you can see they're just barely ever so slightly moving. It's really cool to see that. Really, really cool. Uh, it's just nice and uh, it's all the nice little touches in this that are really cool to see. Um, the one problem I've had thus far, now where is uh, where is the thing at here? Is it in? Must be in here. The one problem I've had thus far is actually recording this. I'm 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 recording it via OBS, recording the uh, the desktop, because every time you go through another loop. It uh, resets its window and that causes Fraps and DX Tori to freak out and make the game crash. Is this what I need to look at? This fountain? Is that what it is? Or is it something else? I feel like it's something else here. As you can see, here's the water I was talking about. Look, see how the water is barely, barely moving in this fountain? And the little splashes coming off of it. There's gotta be something else here. Um, something else that I've missed. Where would it be yet? I hear it. The music is starting to get... Yeah, it's coming. The music's starting to get a little bit more intense. Not, well, intense, but you know what I mean. Uh, oh, there it is, right there. So, uh, I know that we're getting close. Getting very, very close. Come on, make it. I don't think it stops either when I'm, when I'm talking, so I need to talk fast. Exodus. Maneria is a city of towering majesty built upon humble foundations, built upon rumbling, uh, crumbling ruins. Memories lost to dead streams can sometimes be revealed through stone, but our ancient nightmares are aligning with reality, and those stones cannot protect us. The nightmare may not have the agency our ancestors ascribed it, but the result will be the same. The hopes proffered by every sect have proved to be little, too little too late, and we cannot stand stubbornly awaiting the arrival of some fabled all-knower. We must venture forth without wavering, and hope we can outrun our fate, a fate which clearer eyes may have foreseen, and clearer minds may have forfend it. From the Exodus dialogue presented by uh, Maneria, blah, 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 in 1999, which is when this thing, which must be this present day, because this thing has is visiting us. And they said it was 10 years, 10 cycles away. And that was the 1989 one. So we are here now. So this must be night, cycle 1999. And there's our, there's our music, which basically means we're boned. There's the boned music. You see, here's what we have uncovered. Uh, in our two loops, I have gone through. I've gone back and reset the save so that we can do it from the beginning, which is why I don't see any other ones that I have uncovered before. But there it is. There is our asteroid. It's coming in hot and heavy, and it looks like it actually crashes down on that uh, spire. But I, I might be wrong. It might be all perspective here. It might be just crashing down right on my head. It's probably more likely. But, there we go, about two seconds away. And there you have it, my friends. Time frame. Uh, that's all I'm going to show you of the game. If you really are into this uh, genre or into games like this, you'll have to go pick it up on Steam. It is fully released. It is by Random Seed. Uh, Random Seed Games, I believe. And it's uh, $7.99 US for the game. Uh, $9.99 US if you wish to have the game and the soundtrack. 
uh, which is not too bad. The soundtrack's not that, you know, it's not bad at all, I would say. It certainly seems like it would be worth at least two bucks anyway. But uh, I'm not, uh, I'm not a, a student of the musics. As you can see, here's all kinds of stuff here. Uh, there, there are invisible walls, so I can't fall. Uh, you see all the various range of area that we have not explored. So, that has been Time Frame. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. And I will see you next time.